These guys are not in danger. They're uh, least concern, um, probably because they're just bigger than most other frogs. Uh, not highly sought after in the pet trade. Um, and they're pretty well hidden when they are in the forest and stuff like that. So a lot of times people just don't tend to go near them. Are they eat other frogs? Yep, these guys will eat other amphibians. They can eat other frogs. Uh, they even eat reptiles like small lizards, small baby snakes. Uh, these guys will even eat uh, small birds if given the opportunity. So they're very opportunistic. They'll hide under the leaf litter, and then when a prey animal comes by, they just jump out uh, to get them. So as you guys saw earlier, the emerald tree bow lives in here as well. And these guys kind of cope coexist peacefully together, uh, where you kind of see them in the wild doing a very similar thing. Uh, the snake tends to not bother them, and they don't really bother the snake. If you guys are just tuning in, we are celebrating Amphibian Week with our smoky jungle frogs here at the Houston Zoo in our Pontanol exhibit. So we do have automatic misters in here to keep them nice and moist, just like uh, amphibians need. So sometimes if you're coming by and it's raining, that's why. So a lot of amphibians, they uh, use their skin to kind of breathe through, uh, which is why you, when you hold them, you shouldn't use your hands without gloves because your hands have oils and it can trap uh, those oils in their pores and can make them kind of sick. Uh, so whenever I'm holding amphibians, it's definitely best to use gloves um, to pick them up if you need to. Here at the Houston Zoo, we pick them up just to do routine uh, vet checkups and or maintenance to make sure they're in good health. Um, and they get checkups once a year by the vets, and then every three months uh, we pick them up and do exams, weights, make sure they're still healthy and growing the way they need to. Yes, so the, the mister is actually going off right now. It uh, keeps everything super wet um, in the exhibit, so you'll see all the moss, and it keeps it raining. It goes off twice a day. It goes off in the morning and in the afternoon. Uh, similar to how the rainforest would be, where it's really rainy in the morning and rainy in the evening, um, which is why we do it in those times particularly. So we're going to toss in some more crickets. Seems like they might have finished their last ones. These guys during mating season, they the males will approach the females kind of on all fours with their mating call, um, and then females can lay up to a thousand eggs per clutch. Uh, we got a question of do they spend more time on land or in the water? Um, they spend probably, probably an equal amount of time in the land versus the water. Um, typically, they kind of are wherever the food is. So if the food's in the water, they jump in the water. Uh, you'll see them on land kind of in the evenings a lot of the times. Um, they do love swimming around in their, their pool, as you can see. But you often see them on land as well. They are pretty good climbers. They do climb on some of the shelving here. Um, kind of climb up and hide in the plants. Um, 
fun fact about these guys is when they feel threatened, uh, they have a display where they get on their all fours um, and they kind of do this grunt towards you um, to kind of scare you away. They want to get big and they kind of blow up all the air inside their bodies and just scare you off. can you guys save amphibians in the wild? And sometimes the best thing to do is when you see one, it's going to leave it alone. Obviously, you don't want to pick it up and have your hand oils get in their skin, um, causing issues with them. You can just, you know, spread the word on amphibians and what's going on with Try to keep animals in their habitat. You don't want to take an animal and move it out of its habitat because it might not be used to living where you move it to. frogs names. Uh, so as you can see, the one kind of right here and to the right is Jasper, and the one to the left is Alice, um, and then our, their little snake buddy is Lenny. Uh, they were just named here uh, by the keepers. These guys are typically nocturnal, so they tend to be their most active in the early mornings or in the later evenings. So if you guys want to see these guys hop around more, it's definitely better to come visit them early in the morning or towards the end of your trip here at the Houston Zoo. These guys are this nice brown color that's almost resembling kind of old dead leaves because they like to hide in leaf litter. So it gives them a good camouflage from predators that want to come from up above, like any birds. We had a question that came in of what are their personalities like? And these guys are super chill as they are, you know, on the older end and they tend to, they don't mind when I have to come in and clean up and they kind of, they're super chill about it. Both of them are kind of just relaxed and they let me just come in, clean their pools. They're happy. They just love getting their food and snacks. <coughs> We got another question of where can you see them at the zoo? And so these guys are located at our Pontanol exhibit towards the back of the zoo. So if you go through wetlands and pass our cafe, Cypress Circle, you'll see the big sign for Pontanol. Uh, you come in, you'll first see the monkeys as well as the anaconda and then the river otters. And then these guys are right past the river otters uh, across from the dark frog. What do I enjoy most about working with these frogs? Um, I enjoy watching them eat. I think it's super fun to watch them kind of hop around because for the most part during the day, as I said, they're nocturnal, so they don't move around too much. Um, so it's fun to watch feed them in the morning and watch them jump around, and eat their food and play in the, or swimming in the water is always really cool when they go actually under the water and really swim. Uh, so that's what's really fun is just to watch their natural behaviors. It can be very fun to watch.
So most amphibians carry some some sort of toxin uh, that they can kind of it kind of leeches from their skin. So if a predator were to get a hold of them, they would all of a sudden get really slimy from the the, the toxin that can be. Uh, more dangerous towards animals here for humans. It doesn't really do much for us, uh, just because we don't, you know, we're not trying to eat these guys. Uh, so typically, you just want to, if you hold an amphibian, you don't have gloves, you want to wash your hands because that can get on your skin. Um, it won't do anything to you, but maybe possibly irritate your skin. Thanks for tuning in today and celebrating Amphibian Week with us here at the Houston Zoo with our Smoky Jungle Frogs.